Robert and Ella set down some really surprising boundaries before they got married, and some of us would find that per perhaps a bit constraining. However, when Ella gives her reasons for why she set down those boundaries, it was really interesting. Something that I have been studying recently uh, is boundaries, and I've discovered that in my life, I was actually quite shocked at how few boundaries I had set in place, and it had caused me untold problems. So with that in mind, I'd like to ask you, have you set any boundaries in your home? Uh, and can you give me an example of what they might be? We set a lot of what a lot of people may consider pretty strict boundaries when we first started um, dating. We decided pretty much at the start that we were not going to be going down the road of sexual relations okay. until after we had married. Um, and um, one that might be a bit more of a controversial one, um, Ella made a very specific request of me that uh, she did not want to kiss on the lips. This was an unusual one for me as well at the time, um, I'll admit. I had this um, vision of, you know, when I was probably in the years when I, you know, I became interested in boys that, you know, I, that I had a vision that I'd only want to kiss my husband and my groom on the lips before, you know, and that's it, because I, I don't want to have any, anyone else touch my lips until um, the right person. Is that, is that because uh, you didn't want to be confused? Um, yeah, why did you guys set these standards in place? Well, because um, I've seen it, you know, um, even uh, if I um, went into went into a um, Christian school, like I had some classmates who, you know, started to just go out and they, you know, they didn't set any boundaries and they ended up, you know, um, um, going more than what they should have gone and having, you know, um, Having had a kid, I'm not saying that you know um, the kids are not blessings, but having a kid at the end of it and splitting up after because yeah, because it was the wrong person exactly. So were those boundaries so like difficult to enforce? No, not really. I mean, from my perspective, because um, I, I can foresee the question of uh, well, why did you agree to this? Uh, why, why why did you go along with this? Well, okay. the very simple fact of the matter is. I love this woman, and this is uh, one of. She did not make many requests, mm -hmm. but this was one that was very clearly very important to her. Mm -hmm. So I elevated its importance in my own mind and my own heart. I elevated this to a great importance in my own heart. I hope the audience is listening to that because that is music to me. And how how did you? Was it difficult for you at any point, uh, Ella, to, to keep to, to what hold you, to, to hold to what you had established as a standard? Um, for me, it was, you know, plain and simple. Um, I would only kiss my husband on the day of our wedding. And for me, if he wasn't, <laughs> you know, he didn't respect my wishes, and then that's it for me. I'm like, you're not the person for me. You're not the one that God bless, will be blessing you with. So, and he's respected it all throughout. Well, Ella put the bar really high for her expectations of David before they got married. But the question is, shouldn't the bar be really high if you're going to spend the rest of your life with this significant other? Next week, Ella and David are going to explain themselves more fully on this subject. I do hope you'll join us. God bless and bye for now.